Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. This box, and we're going to go over every side of it because there's amazing information on here, contains a very interesting smartwatch. This is coming to us from UDefine. That's right, UDefine. Pretty creative. This is a uh, Xiaomi ecological core company which means that basically it's a small business that Xiaomi is investing in to help produce these amazing products. And oftentimes these kind of sideline companies you don't hear a whole lot about have the best innovations. For example, this particular one called the Power has Bluetooth 5.3 built into it for beautiful sounding phone calls. Yeah, it's a Bluetooth calling watch has five different satellite positioning systems in it. Yeah, it's got GPS and uh, does its uh, the full route tracking information on its own without taking your phone with it. It has Amazon Alexa built into it. You set that up with your Amazon account and you can activate it directly from the watch. And if you're using... Um, things to turn your lights on and stuff like that that are Amazon-based. Alexa can control those right from your watch because, of course, it's got a speaker and microphone in it. It also has built-in altimeter, barometer, compass, everything you need for outdoor, outdoor adventures. In terms of inside, it's packing at 800 nit. That's brightness, guys, peak brightness, so it's easy to see outdoors. Dual core, two-in-one chip runs it. Aluminum alloy frame material on it as well. It's a 1.43 inch ultra AMOLED screen display with always on. And ultra means basically retina resolution or more. 466 by 466 with a 60 cycle uh, or 60 hertz uh, refresh rate too. Wow. Wow. Alexa built in as we said. All of the different countries are uh, supported on it. 110 different sport modes with automatic sport recognition, 24-7 health management, IP68 waterproof, and the little fancy thing that'll drain water out of it if you've been swimming so the speaker will work for your phone calls. Ambient sound and body um, energy measurement. And there's something else in here, too, that we're going to get to as we play with it. Let's take a look. Oh, 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 I know you're ready to buy. You want to know how to get it. The Udefine Direct website uh, has it. I got the link in the show notes for you. It's currently discounted down to $82, and we'll see if we can get you a cheaper discount off of that as well. So make sure you use the link we've provided for you and any coupons we get. You already saw this pretty much on the box, but quickly we'll go through it again. The five satellites, Alexa, sports mode ambient sound this is fun this is the watch will actually assess the ambient sound around you to see how loud it is and it can track that over time and send the information to your phone so if you work in a loud environment and you're concerned about your hearing or if you're a rock star <laughs> or go to uh, go to Taylor Swift's concerts regularly you may want to have a watch with an ambient sound monitor IP68, uh, water resistance, everything you see here, uh, Bluetooth chip, dual core languages, and these are the functions that are all inside the watch, which of course we're going to take a look at right now, right? This is beautiful presentation. The box itself has a nice little translucent cover on it, so if you're thinking of a high-end gift, this is it. Two bands. Comes already pre-assembled with a black band on it sitting right inside of here. And it comes with a brown leather band. A little cover you pull off and you got direct access to the watch. Pull open the band and there you go. Beautiful, solid build quality on this one. Two buttons on the side. Microphone, speaker, thin, well designed. And like I say... You have an extra band in here. You have to pull this whole thing out to get to it. But uh, yeah, you can install the uh, brown leather band if you want to. You have a little package that's got the uh, charger. And the charger is your standard two-pin magnetic coupled uh, charger with USB port. And that just simply, when it's the right direction, snaps on. And it holds the watch nicely. So it's a good, strong magnetic connection to for charging. We also have, it looks like, a little package 
of screen protector material in here, all sealed up. So if you want to play with putting screen protector on this one, you've got it. But look at the contour on that curved glass. Really, really nice. A manual right in here that gives you some basic information. Um, notices, warranty information, warranty card. This is a little QR code you can scan to download this whole uh, manual or look at it on your phone. So if you want to go into more detail, it tethers with something called VeryFit. And VeryFit is a very good app. You're going to see some of the things it does when it has a, a perfect watch to pair to that gives you the data that you need to um, assess a lot of different things like heart rate variability and so forth. Here's uh, watch health, app health information, basic operation, watch faces. There's a bunch of them. Your workout information, running courses. And I know that's really small, so you may want to look at the PDF of this one. Um, your applications list. There's how you set up Alexa. As any of you have tried to set up Alexa devices and uh, access things, it can be complicated and tricky. Just uh, work through it because they're all pretty much the same no matter what you're using. The watch is just an extension of that uh, ecosystem, so to speak. And it's interesting to see Xiaomi through their subsidiaries like Udefine working directly with Amazon, um, pulling all of this stuff together. Just more pictures of the different watch faces that you'll see. Yeah, it just goes on and on for all of them. And we'll run through them quickly on the watch as well so you can actually see what they look like on that nice high resolution AMOLED display. Camera, compass, um, the pro Pomodoro technique. Wow, wow. Different settings in here. And then you get into another language after the reminder module and control center. That's what they call that, a control center when you swipe it down. Well, let's take a look at that. With two buttons on the side, you're going to want to press and hold the upper button. Give it a few seconds. Let it acquire. It just vibrated. It's working on it and giving you its opening logo for you to find. And pops into the uh, same watch face, by golly, that you're seeing right on the cover. How fancy. This is one of the stock faces. You have a few of them. And then, of course, you can install custom faces as well. At least one at a time. Swipe down to that control center. Here we go. I got do not disturb. I can turn it on and off at leisure or I can program it in the app to go on at certain times of the day or night. There's your power level. Bluetooth connection is red. So right now it's not set up connected to the phone, but we'll put that together. I've got a uh, twist your wrist to see the time and the overall. Uh oh, look at that. It went because I was waiting long enough. It went into the all one of the many always on ambient screens. Nice. Now you can't do anything with this. You got to pop out of it to bring it back. Here we go and pull it down again. And I was going to show you brightness. It just toggles through all the levels. And that is fully bright. 800 nits. The whites are just brilliantly white. You can't even see there's little lines going through there. Tap it again. Cycles down to the lowest level, which is almost right for this review. We'll just go up one more notch, you think? Yeah, that's plenty because otherwise we'll lose the... the fine definition there. Then you've got a flashlight mode. Yeah, we may as well show you. See how the background uh, dimmed down because the auto white balance has suppressed it since this is so bright. And then when you turn it off, it comes back up again. This is that little uh, water drop. Hear it? Wow, it almost sounds like an SOS. <laughs> the whole thing was vibrating, was making noise, and it clears the water out. Of course you can swim with it. It's IP68. Alarm clocks. This is a power level thing. This is find your phone. And then your overall settings where you can switch your different watch faces. That's a stock one. Here's another one with a little flying astronaut. Here's another one with a little touch of color in it. Yeah, pretty nice. Edge to edge, just about, with it rolling off the, uh, the rounded corners. You can press and hold again to get back here. There's another nice digital uh, stock face. And then uh, from the downloadable faces for our friends in India and around the world who like this kind of imagery. Wow, look at that. It's almost noon. Beautiful. 
I love the richness of AMOLED screen technology. We were in settings, in watch faces. Then there's your always on display. You can uh, turn it on or off, of course. And these are the different watch faces. We are in this one right now, uh, but you can have a much simpler one if you want to. Very, very simple as terms of analog. And then you also have this digital one. So you have four different ones, a simple one, one with a little bit of numbers around it, one with a little bit of change in the dials and stuff, and then uh, digital. So we'll run with digital for a second. That's what it'll look like in the always on display. And again, we are here in settings, always on display, standby watch faces. You can set it to go on and off at different times uh, or every day at a certain time. So you don't even have to worry about turning it off at night, for example, if uh, you set it before you go to bed. You got some control over sound and vibration, a silent mode, media volume, vibration levels, incoming calls, different melodies it'll make for you. Um, the display and brightness now, we are at 40%. I can come in here to screen brightness, and you see it's in increments. 0, 40%, 20%, 60%, 80 and 100 um, which is kind of like what we're seeing when we touch the button. So let's bump it from 40 to 60 and now it's going to be very bright in terms of what we're seeing on the camera. Night brightness now. You can schedule this to turn on and off at uh, different times. Uh, you can turn it off. You can schedule it there. And this is the night brightness level, apparently, that is uh, just like the uh, always on screen. Very, very dim. So we're going to turn that off while we're doing the review so we have full use of it. So if you really want to save um, your battery, extend your battery life, the screen is one of the big culprits. In AMOLED screens, every pixel is getting energy separately. There's no backlight. So you really can control the use of the um, power by dimming the screen. Now the cover to sleep option, this is fun. This allows you to just simply cover the uh, watch with your hand and put it to sleep if you've got it on like a long on period and you really don't need it that way. If you turn that off, it won't have any effect, but with it on, you can cover the screen, like I say, and it'll turn it, to, uh, it'll put the thing to sleep. You got app view, uh, either list or dial pad, the circular kind. Nothing more though, which is kind of odd because a lot of people are thrilled by all kinds of ways of display displaying their apps, but you just have the two on this one. Um, but that's only how it displays apps like we're going through right now. So no big deal, really. Do not disturb all day, scheduled or off. And when you do a scheduled, you can set the start and end time or off like we're talking about. And again, you can swipe down to the control panel and turn it on there. You can connect more. Now, when you do this, it's going to disconnect you from the phone you're connected to, wipe everything out of your personal, at least all your personal data, and uh, then you can pair it to a different watch. I'm sorry, different phone. Xiaomi has kind of always been that way. They just like really, you know, there's no such thing as you having a work phone and a home phone, and you know, you want to just switch your watch with everything on it from one phone to the other. It's like there's only one person. Only one watch, only one phone. Live with it. I think Apple's a lot like that too. But that's how it is, just as long as you know Connect More is basically like factory restore, practically. And then your system, where you restart, power off, and true factory restore, or reset the, uh, the watch. Uh, about tells you it's the you define watch power with some basic information. And then you got to help option in here that you can scan the QR code to get help if you need to. And that is settings. And so far, we have only done this. Man, amazing. Go off to the left, and now we get into your step count information. It doesn't look like we go any further. Uh, calories burned, um, distance traveled, and how many times you've stood up in the last 12 hours. This is your uh, step count right here, huh? Okay. I guess this is uh, more the calories and the exercise minutes and such. Step count. All three of your biometrics of heart rate, blood oxygen, and relaxation or stress are measured at once when you press that button and wear the watch, which is pretty interesting. 
You uh, also have last night's sleep time in a whole chart. Again, none of these are scrollable, but when you get into the app, you'll see it more of a breakout of all of that. When you went to bed, when you woke up, REM, uh, light, deep sleep are all shown in here. Then you got all these different exercises that you can uh, initiate, walking, running, or cycling, all which use GPS, remind you. Uh, or you can hit this button and go into the list of all of the other workouts that you've got uh, access to, that you've set up. And then over here, you've got the weather and the city that you put in the app that lets you know where uh, you, um, um, you know, what the temperature and everything is there. By the way, Shenzhen is where most of these watches come, but this one's coming from Shanghai. So sorry, we got the wrong city for you guys. And then you got, of course, Alexa. When you tap this button, you can ask Alexa whatever you want and uh, your phone will respond, especially if you've got the Amazon app and everything. Alexa's set up over there. Uh, you can power right through and use that connection to get into Alexa. And then we're back to the watch face. So if you use Alexa a lot, you can just flip that way and get there or you can go all the way around. But that's what happens when you circle around this way. This is our control panel from here and swiping up gets you notifications sent from your phone. So we've covered all the directions. We have two buttons. The lower one gets you into all of your exercise. That's another way to get into these different things. And notice these are arrows that take you into uh, the places where you can set up goals if you want to show you the power level and time as you go along with it as well. And then you've got all of these on here with a long list of them. And if you hit the top button, you go into activity, which of course is what we already looked at, your step count and activity, your workout status, your VO2 max. It'll measure that if you've done enough exercise and calculate your uh, recovery time, your AE effect. Lot, uh, you guys that are really into this, I know you know what we're talking about and you're probably salivating right now. The app is rich in detail on this type of stuff. Here's different running courses. You got an easy, you got keep fit kind, another whole thing to go deep, deep into if you're into fitness. Workouts, uh, we saw all of those and then your workout records, if you have any, will be in here as well. And again, remember, it's got GPS in it. So if you're doing something that involves moving that GPS can track, uh, you'll get a track uh, for it as well. Push for measurement. That's that three and one. You tap that and get all those measurements. If you want separately, you've got heart rate. It's going to use the diodes, green diodes in the back and measure your heart rate. Blood oxygen now. I'm going to put this over where it actually should be on my arm. And let me trigger that again. Oh, there we go. Okay, redo. So it's giving you uh, readings throughout the last 24 hours of your blood oxygen, and it's not taking it at the moment. So let's restart. Want to get it to uh, initiate, because we always like to check to see if it's using red or green diodes. Red is the more advanced ones now. Oh, it's using green. That's a surprise. Um, we're happy to see them when they use red because it seems that red and infrared together give you a better overall reading of your blood oxygen. So very interesting that that's using the basic green. And then stress is also um, going to do the diode thing and it's just going to measure your stress level probably from uh, heart rate variability is what it's doing. Okay, moving on, getting back where we were. After stress, there's body energy. Uh, I've got a chart going there. I got a number of 51. I don't understand body energy, I'll be honest with you. So we have to both do some research on that. Uh, oh, here you go. It's a feature that uses a combination of heart rate variability, stress, sleep, and activity to estimate a user's energy reserves throughout the day. Okay, how do you manage your body energy? That's all here in the watch describing it. And just yet another factor that we can take into consideration to stay healthy, body energy. Your last night's sleep time, basic breath training. You can change how long you want it to go for. Your inhale, exhale, relaxation. 
You've got uh, cycle tracking for the ladies, shows you where you are in your cycle and uh, specifically where you are today. Um, when you set that all up in the app and have it uh, tether over to that. And here's ambient sound. Now, this is fun. I'm talking to you and I'm going to get turn your volume down for a second. I'm going to get really loud here and we want to check and see if Uncle Tix needs hearing aids because he's always talking so loud. All right. <laughs> it vibrated and stopped. 61 to 80. Um, yeah, pretty loud for just sitting right here. I'm being real quiet. But even now I can go up to about 55. So that's the ambient. Okay, do you see that? Gave me an average of 62, as low as 29 up to 80. So I could sample the environment at any particular time and get a reading of what the loudness is. That can be translated over, transferred over to the phone as well. Then here's your phone for phone calling. And of course, it uh, can be set up with your contacts, call history, keypad, and um, basically works like a Bluetooth calling phone, Alexa. Here's your barometer now, tells you what your barometric pressure is up and down and exactly where your location is because it has the sensor built into it. And a compass, of course, we got to calibrate it first. There we go. And I'm sitting in the uh, north facing south. And so we can play with it a little bit, see how responsive it is, come straight back. And it looks it's a little bit off. 180 is right there. So it could be being influenced by other things in the environment, but straight, you see the lines on the table here, uh, like that is 180 degrees pointing that way. Uh, maybe needs more calibration. But anyway, it's got a compass and it's uh, good and responsive and it tells you your gross uh, position, south, southwest, as well as the actual um, degrees. And that's in the compass. Then you got the Pomodoro Technique. Um, that's another whole exploration beyond both what I know and uh, an introductory unboxing review. But if you want to study up about it, it's there. And apparently you can start it and do what it does. you got event timers in here. Uh, you can create a tim timer in the app, it says. Weather, again, uh, wherever you've set it up for. There's some more information on precipitation and humidity wind force, the UV index at the moment, and forecast information as well. All right there in the weather. The music player we looked at, remote camera now that'll set it up in the app that you can take a picture and use that to trigger it, get alarms and timers and stopwatches. And the stopwatch itself, we always like to check and see if it'll run in the background. Doesn't look like we can bail out of it. That stopped it. Come back into it. Oh, no, it just took a picture of it, sort of, and it does appear to be still running in the background. Very nice. That's uh, rare to find on smartwatches that it has that ability. Just to make sure, I'll just go down and look at something else. Here's World Clock, where you can set up different locations. It'll tell you the time and how far awa away it is from you, ahead or behind, uh, wherever your location is. And the stopwatch is still running but you can't just slide out of it it stays on so you can't accidentally leave it i guess and it's getting you down to hundreds of a second looks like we can take laps on it as well yep sure enough and come out of it and it's still running tap again and we're back here find your phone flashlight and settings we already looked at all of those right so I think we've covered pretty much everything on the watch itself. Uh, now let's take a look at the uh, pairing app to this. You're going to connect this uh, particular watch now to the Very Fit app, not the Very Fit Pro. There is another one out there, but they're asking for Very Fit. This is what the uh, thumbnail looks like when you find it in the Google Play Store. You install it, you get it all set up, you open it. You connect it with the watch, which is pretty straightforward. And uh, when you do all that, you'll land in the home page and you'll have your health information. It tells you which watch you're connected to and some 
crazy little AI stuff going on there with their message center. They always want to like, you know, probe you for things. So we have all of this. Uh, we'll start out with health, get into here. And now you're getting today's activity. You have weekly, monthly, and year as well. Tap here, nothing happens. Scroll down, calories and uh, intensity and walking are all shown here and it lines up with the time and it's showing you the information up here as well so there's one where I got 52 calories four minutes of high performance stuff and one hour of walking uh, and that's a different way of presenting the data haven't seen that before the goal is down here of course and you can modify that if you want to recent situation past seven days well i haven't been able to wear the watch that long but i've got some trend analysis on it um a few days are right there medium high intensity it'll generate trends if you have enough data uh, so it's a very sophisticated app in fact in fact this app with the trend analysis is almost comparable to the uh, smart rings like the ultra human ring and the aura ring in what their particular apps are able to do these are sensors collecting data and so is the watch actually um, and in this regard this is one of the few apps that is just uh, really really deep in its overall trend analysis of your different activities your biometrics and everything so there we go uh, a quick look at today it's way more than just step count and all this other information's there these are actually active buttons you can go into and uh, go to different places that will access through the app directly body energy now 18 minutes ago, it says I was at level 51. And you can see on the chart the different levels from 0 to 100. And again, it tells you a little bit about body energy. You can see all of the data down here for the previous days that I've worn the watch and the range. And you dive in on any one of those, and you can actually see the time. Look at that. It's down to the minute. Brrr, brrr. Yeah, it's really, really detailed. Way more than most folks would want to go. But if you're really doing some power out and you know exactly when you're doing it, showing all of the data would be helpful. And this is about body energy. Now we go into a uh, step count here. This is that typical chart you're used to seeing where you see the steps per hour, your goals. And check this out. Once you got a trend going, at least a little one, and of course, if you have it, if you wear it for at least a couple of weeks or a month, you're going to have some really detailed uh, averages of when during the day you take your steps and do your things. This is sleep time, so nobody really is walking and getting up and doing stuff then. I knew I was going to do a review today, so I pumped up some steps at the very beginning. And now, here in the mid-afternoon, when we're doing the review, I'm kind of even with where I was on the days that I wore it just normally. And you can see all that trends. When, if you power out in the morning or in the afternoon, uh, how is today comparing with uh, your average? Uh, then you got your past seven days averages and some uh, information about understanding steps. And if you want, of course, all of your data, and you go into any one of these, and there it is by every 15 minutes, how many steps were taken each 15 minutes uh, for all, all of the time you've worn the watch. So you can really see a lot about your, your uh, information. Sports record. Uh, here I have a couple of things. There's a whole tab on sports record, but I'm just going to show you. This was a pretend cycling where I was riding around in a car. This is kind of a fun one. Wow. That was me swirling and dancing. Now, actually, this is my house, and it has a lanai, and I was walking a circle around the lanai. And, of course, with GPS accuracy, even the one in the watch, it's not going to give you down to a few feet, but it's going to put you in the general area. So that's what the actual track looked like. You want to see it again? Here you go. Started out inside the house, came out, walked around. Yeah. Fun. And it gives you uh, some statistics related to that. Recovery time. It's tracking your heart rate during that. Wow. Okay. I didn't think I was getting up to 130 for just a few minute walk. Here's a uh, pace. 
real-time cadence, altitude change, and you guys can extrapolate, I hope, from this tiny little uh, effort to the potential that it would be for you if you were really walking or cycling or running or doing any of those activities. That's all in there uh, in the sports records. Your sleep information is here now, too. Here's the... Um, Location of rapid eye movement for six minutes at that particular time. There's some awake. Here's some deep sleep down here. Usually my deep sleep's in the early part of the evening, but in this case it was just before waking up. Sleep quality, sleep analysis, where you are in the in terms of typical zone um, locations. And then they got some stuff to aid you in uh, your sleep and breathing and understanding sleep and so forth. And again, you can see all of your, how, what does it look like? All of your sleep data here, light sleep, seven segments. These were the segments of light sleep. Wow, so where's REM? Interesting. Awake REM, 55 minutes, broken into these little short segments. My good dream was between um, almost 2 a.m. to 2.30 in that neighborhood. Wow. Interesting. I could learn a lot about uh, stuff like what's going on during that time of the night that I was able to get into that REM state. And day after day after day. So all of the data is there too. I'm very impressed with this one in terms of the app interface with the watch. Heart rate, uh, caloric consumption, heart rate variability is something interesting to look at. You get kind of dot patterns on there. What is it? All of the data there as well. Heart rate is showing you this. I took the watch off during this uh, time frame just to see what would happen. I just put it back on, and you can see it's uh, not going to record bogus data on you. And um, more of the information about heart rate, some videos to learn about it. Uh, you can download the app, and if you can get access to all of this stuff without having to uh, pair a watch to it, that would be great. You could read up on it and just kind of check this stuff out. Here's the blood oxygen. This is taking sequential measurements now. I believe there's a way to turn it on so that it'll do continuous, but uh, I'm not sure. So these were discrete ones that we did. Uh, you saw it when I was checking whether it was a red or green diode. Still don't understand why they're not using red. But anyway, there they are. There's stress. Here's our stress. And again, the watch was off right there. Just put it on for one reading just recently. Relax, low, and so forth your average, and some more things that'll uh, be available for you for breath training and stress reduction. I didn't do anything for drinking water or blood sugar management. It doesn't read blood sugar. You have to enter it from your own readings. Uh, VO2 max, I haven't done anything for that. Um, but those are all available for you as well. Then there's some wellness management programs you can look into, awards, and a weekly report. When you've done it for a full week, you can get in and uh, get synopsis of goals achieved and all kinds of things too. The rings do a good job of that, the weekly reports too. And once again, you've got an exercise uh, tab here that gets you back into what we just looked at in sports records. And then you got device. And here's where it talks about the device itself. This will take you into deeper look at the device, uh, its power level, you can update the uh, AGPS, which is for the um, GPS tracking information. And you can manually update it or have it do it automatically. Um, battery life stuff, restart, reset, and so forth. Your overall device management there. This is the watch face management. And this is where you can install any of these different watch faces. They've got them all categorized. And each one of these expands into more and practical doodle custom dynamic look at that you have to pay a little bit on some of these free of charge so it looks like all of these are um interesting are, are animated i haven't gone into that category let's check it out together oh not a whole lot more just a few okay but that's uh growing and yeah you can play with the free ones right away if you want to and i guess get into the paid ones as well um, different categories across the top. Notifications, alarm clocks, your calls, uh, you enable those there. Uh, this is where you can turn it on and set up your frequent contacts too. 
and health tracking settings. You want to enable all of these if you want to get the best of your biometrics recorded. Drinking reminders and so forth. Here's this ambient sound level. You can enable that. And then when you uh, set that up and activate it, it'll uh, monitor your ambient information. Ladies, your cycle tracking is also handled right there as well. Alexa, when you get that connected in, you can, of course, just tap the button and talk to Alexa, but you got to set up your account. And then you can set up uh, intelligent exercises for all kinds of things, walking and running, ellipticals, rowing machine, and so forth. It can recognize those. You can set up different combinations of your sporting activities uh, within the watch right from here in the phone. Uh, music control. Now, an interesting note is music control. Um, this allows you with the music player on the watch to control um, forward, backward, uh, volume, and the name of the song. But it's not Bluetooth uh, streaming. So in this case, on this watch, your music control just simply uh, controls the music playing out of your phone. You won't hear the music coming out of your watch, but you do hear phone calls and Alexa responses and things like that out of your watch. Twist your wrist to see the time. You can set up your weather push and set up uh, the location wherever you'd like it to be is all part of this as well. You have world clock settings um, and your overall screen brightness controls here too. The tiles are the arrangement of all of the different things as you scroll through and you can add them or delete them. I've got them all activated right now. Change your device language and so forth in the settings. And then you. This is where you set up your account, your units, um, some more settings related to that, your goals, synchronizing your data, and all of these parts. Modify your email if you want to, change your password for the account that you're setting up in the app tied to this particular device. It's got an AI customer service and some more stuff you can check for updates and about the overall thing. So the app itself, first of all, I really like that you can have it, um, you know, with a black background. It's not so bright. Uh, it's really great when you can do that night kind of view. Uh, all of these, again, get you into different things. You can do different theme skinning if you want to. You're getting into the uh, area of paying a little bit of money to download and use some of these things. So that's kind of another revenue uh, source for them, watch faces and themes. Uh, sports partners. Who are all of these? Oh, okay, you can mess around with your partners. We'll skip that for now. Let you explore it on your own. Sleep and music is taking you into all the different things that are available, some of them free. If you're in VIP, it's free, and so forth. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to know on this? I think we've covered all of it. So let me summarize about this watch then. This is a really uh, advanced AMOLED screen, high resolution smartwatch. You got all the basic things that you'd normally have, step count and all the different biometrics from heart rate, blood oxygen, blood pressure and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure blood pressure, but uh, relaxation is added on this one as well. You've got the uh, sleep information and you got all your different workout activities, uh, weather and everything else is in there. It's extremely thin. I'm very impressed with, with the space it takes up. It, you hardly even feel it on your wrist. It supports Bluetooth calling. Um, and it's very, very well constructed. It's, again, from uh, you define, right? You define, like you define this thing how you'd like it to be. Uh, running about $80, $82. Uh, maybe get at that price down for you with a coupon discount. So check the show notes for that. And uh, it's worth looking into. It comes with two bands as well. A nice little watch. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.